You get the double prize today. I'm gonna rank both the Piscean and Bird Wyverns all in one video. I'll rank them on two separate tier lists Welcome. to keep rankings consistent yes. with each category of monster. Let me know what I got wrong. Here we go. Joyo Totus. In my first run through the game, I was so confused why I had to fight this thing so many times. It wasn't until late into Iceborne where someone informed me that Joyototus is the only water monster for most of the game. You better learn to like fighting Joyototus because you need a lot of its parts for most of the base game because of this fact. Unfortunately, Joyototus isn't that fun to fight. The mud coating for deflecting attacks and dealing with the mud puddles that sap your stamina gets annoying pretty quick. I think I'm a little biased against this thing just because I've had to deal with it so many times. But for an early hunt, I guess it poses just enough of a challenge. I didn't know what Piscine meant until I created this tier list, but now I know that it means fish. And I guess Jirototus is supposed to resemble one, but its design doesn't look too much like a fish, more like a big brown turd with legs. There are other better looking fish monsters on the list. Z-Rank. Lavasia. I have such a hard time pronouncing this one's name, and it's because I always think of Wingardium Laviosa. Wingardium Laviosa. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot this monster existed until late into Iceborne. I know you run into it the first time when you get to the Elder's Recess, but you never need to fight it, and I didn't have any parts I needed from it for my first run, and its design is kind of forgettable anyways. It's a red Joyototus, and you already deal with Joyototus too much. The hunt with it is also a pretty rough one unless you have the Clutch Claw. For all my base game only players out there, the height of this thing is super thick and you need to use your slinger ammo effectively to weaken it up. If you've got the clutch claw to tenderize parts, this fight is a lot easier. I'm just not a big fan of this steamy fish. F rank. Bayototus. Now this is a fish I can get behind. Bayototus checks off all the boxes for me. He's your introduction to Iceborne and it fights you in the snow in such a believable way. I mean, yeah, snow sharks aren't a real thing, but you could see it happening with Beototus. And the hunt with it is a good time. You're dodging its leaps out of the snow, stalking it while it skulks around the map looking for you. It's the prey hunting the prey. And I feel like it's such a good first fight in Iceborne. It hurts, it applies snow blight, and you're definitely at the disadvantage in its environment with no master rank gear yet. And I haven't even talked about its design yet. I love its great believable fishy colors. Its big horn is awesome and it's Roar. I like to think it sounds like a snow thrower, but I believe it's supposed to be like a chainsaw. Beototus is just a really cool monster and I've enjoyed every hunt with it. S rank. That's all the Piscine monsters. There's only three in Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. We're heading into the Bird Wyvern tier list, but first a word of thanks for some awesome people. First, the amazing legendary hunters on my Discord server. Your support means so much to me and it truly makes a difference in me being able to keep making content. Bart and Drogon, you're legendary. Lastly, thanks to all you for watching. One of the highlights of my week is reading and responding to all your comments. Kind of like this one. Tyson, thanks for your kind words, and I'm really glad you love my videos. All right, on to the bird wyverns. Here we go. Kula Yaku. This bird is positioned really well in the game. It's an introductory fight to the base game, has some fun personality, and it can pose a challenge early on. Kulayaku is the egg stealing and bash your head in with a rock bird, and it has some interesting mechanics for a hunt. Part of its attack pattern is using a rock to hit you with, but more importantly, that rock deflects your attacks, and it quickly reduces the sharpness of your weapon. It teaches new players to find new angles to attack from, or if they're clever, to fire their slinger ammo at the bird and make it fumble its bludgeon. Design-wise, this bird's alright. Nothing bad, nothing great, not a whole lot to say for its looks. The hunt is the most interesting part of Kula. B rank. Puke Puke. Puke Puke is a pretty easy hunt. It's an introduction to status ailments, which is fine, but it kind of just stands there and it doesn't really feel like it belongs in the environment. In a past tier list, I mentioned that Toby Kadachi doesn't feel real because of the mashup of snake and squirrel. It's just so jarring. I have the same thoughts about Puke Puke. It's a mashup of a parrot and a frog. And it just doesn't work really well in my opinion. And the hunt with it isn't really anything to write home about either. The poison is the only thing that will catch you if you're not prepared. Bring antidotes and punch it till it dies. No biggie. F rank. This one's gonna be a hot take. First off, I have no idea how to pronounce this thing's name. Ziti Yaku, Tizi Yaku, Zit Zit Yaku, Tizi Tizi. I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Bluey. 
Bluey is the evolved form of Kuliaku, but instead of packing an egg or a rock to punch you with, it's upgraded to taking photos of you with its bright flash you that stuns close. everything in its path. The hunt with this blue bird isn't too big of a deal for the melee weapons, but when you're playing with a ranged weapon, the difficulty goes up quite a bit. That flash attack hits from really far away, and it has a wide range. It leaves you stunned, which opens you up to a dash and punch attack from it, so you have to keep strafing it. The big flash attack is kind of Bluey's whole design, and I really like it. It's more impactful when it shows up out of nowhere while you're fighting something else, though. If you can get it pointed in the right direction and stun the monster you're hunting a few times, it's actually really helpful. Besides its hunt, the design isn't too crazy, but it works. A blue bird in an ocean-styled region. It just fits well. S rank. Coral Puke Puke. There's a lot of good going on with Coral Puke Puke. Its tropical look fits pretty good for the Coral Highlands, and its gimmick of inhaling water to spew out both ends makes for an interesting hunt. As tough as ranged monsters can be, it's still a well-designed hunt in my opinion. Get in close and you're going to have a good time, but if you start creating distance, it's going to soak you, it's going to give you water blight, and it's going to make advancing more of a struggle. I like this hurdle it makes you jump. It's just more ways Monster Hunter is teaching you to be creative with your attack patterns. The biggest downside with Coral Puke Puke is how helpless it is at close range. If you get up to its face, which can be a hurdle but not a huge one, it kind of just stands there and dies. Maybe in a future iteration of Coral Puke Puke, it'll have some attacks that distances itself from you to increase the difficulty some. C rank. Yan Garuga and Scarred Yan Garuga. Let's do both these at the same time since there isn't a whole lot different between them. My initial impressions of the Yan Garuga line was, this is just Rathian, but faster. Admittedly, this made hunting them much easier to manage as their attack patterns feel comfortable. I do really like the design of Yan Garuga with the pokey bits everywhere and the big beak. It looks like a bird, which is fitting for its classification. And the attack where it dives at you and its head gets stuck in the ground made me laugh. It's just a really pissed off ostrich. The hunt with these is pretty stressful the entire time. It never gives you time to breathe. It feels like you're up against Belkana in a lot of ways with how quick it is. If you're out of position or not keeping up with its positioning, you're gonna get punished and it hits hard. I think it's a great monster for the Guiding Lands and it'll mess you up as you're farming parts. I don't think it offers a whole lot different in the game up to this point, but it does look really cool. A rank for both. Boom. <laughs>